Good morning, this is meteorologist Kelly Barnes with the National Weather Service in San Angelo, Texas, here with your morning multimedia briefing. It is Thursday, August 15th. As anticipated, the hot temperatures will continue through this weekend and through at least mid-next week, with high temperatures reaching heat advisory criteria, or 105 degrees Fahrenheit, each day for at least portions of the area. As has been the case for the past couple of weeks, the hottest temperatures will be in the Big Country, Concho Valley, and Heartland. We have a very slight chance of showers and storms this afternoon across northwestern portions of the big country thanks to a stalled frontal boundary across the Texas Panhandle and west central Oklahoma, but most of this activity should stay out of our area. Otherwise, expect dry conditions to persist through much of next week. Above normal temperatures are expected again today with highs ranging from 98 across the Northwest Hill Country and Northern Edwards Plateau to around 104 degrees across the Big Country. Skies will remain mostly clear with south to southwest winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Relative humidity values will fall into the 20 to 25 percent range, creating elevated fire weather concerns, especially across northern portions of the area. Heat index values across much of the big country will climb into the 105 to 107 degree range. As such, a heat advisory remains in effect for the big country through this evening. These high heat indices will lead to an increased risk of heat-related illnesses, so be sure to stay hydrated, avoid outdoor activities during peak heating, wear light clothing if you have to be outdoors, and try to stay in air conditioning if at all possible. Unfortunately, this heat looks to linger through much of next week with triple-digit temperatures and heat indices expected for much of the area through at least next Thursday. While we know it's summer and hot temperatures are expected this time of year around here, these are potentially dangerous temperatures, especially for more vul vulnerable groups, such as children and the elderly. So we ask that everyone remain vigilant in practicing heat safety. As expected, drought areas expanded across the area, primarily across the big country where temperatures have been hottest, leading to increased drying out of vegetation. With the hot and dry pattern likely persisting, this area of drought will likely expand and potentially increase in intensity. The latest climate outlooks from the Climate Prediction Center show exactly what we've been thinking. The hot and dry pattern will persist through the next week with the 8 to 14 day outlooks showing the hot and dry pattern lingering through the end of the month. And here is a quick reminder of the geographical regions referenced earlier in the briefing. And that concludes today's briefing. Our next briefing should be expected by noon next Monday, the 19th of August. Stay cool out there this weekend and have a great day.